I'm at Tempe Center for the Arts where I'll be viewing a presentation by Donald Johansson who discovered the earliest known Oscula pavicus known as Lucy. This year is the 40th anniversary of that discovery and I'm very excited. Okay, we went to the Johansson presentation and he pretty much talked about his route to finding Lucy, which is Australopithecus afarensis, which we found out isn't the oldest one. They found 400 other specimens. I guess they're all the bones, but not actual. Australopithecus afarensis, but still. Um, but she's become the benchmark since 1974 of all other paleoanthropological findings. That's pretty cool. Um, what 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 did he talk about? You can talk to the camera person. The camera person? <laughs> I'm a camera person. Okay. Um. So here's something that. I don't want to go negative, but I kept getting distracted by some of the slides because they used Comic Sans font on some of them. And I was like, holy crap, this is Donald Johansson. He's got someone helping him with this, I think. Maybe not. Why were the font colors weird? And I don't know. This is my attention issues. Of course, that's part of the reason why I was taking some of the photographs I did. Not just to take photographs, but to take photographs to capture the Comic Sans I felt use. really weird taking photographs in there because nobody else was doing it. So I'm like, uh, every once in a while I would like take my camera out of my pocket and just take a quick snapshot. A couple of people took snapshots that were, that they had their flashes on. Yeah. They were really embarrassed when you went up. I know. So I made sure that mine wasn't on. But and your camera I made noise. Two people take flash photography. Now, all of my photographs I didn't. Was taking pictures except for you. I know, but I was right, right in the back though, so. We were at the very back. Yeah. And we were right in the center. And plus, um. I thought we had pretty good seats. Yeah, it was, it was good. And, and it was free, so that was really awesome. Yeah, it um, was. You could have paid to sit in the front section. It was like $30 or something to that effect. It was VIP and it included a reception. So I'm not sure if if Donald Johansson was at the reception, but there was someone yeah, on Twitter. Was, uh, okay. Someone on Twitter. Okay. I don't but know I if I was... wish that we, we did that. I didn't know how it would be, so we just got the free tickets. Yeah, I'd, I just... I was I've in, never been in the Tempe Center for the Arts. So. Neither had I. Now, I wanted to do the VIP <laughs> thing, but then again, I was like, you know, I don't know what added value it would have for me because the reason I was going was to see Donald Johansson speak. Yeah. Uh, because when I went to ASU and, you know, I have a degree in anthropology, and I remember when I took. And I was majoring in anthropology too. Yeah, before me. Because it took me so long to get to ASU. This was like 2000-ish. Yeah. So, um, I took a class. It was a upper division. I can't remember what it was called. Upper division physical anthropology course with Bill Kimball, William Kimball, who is, I think director of the Institute of Human Origins which sponsored the event event it's obviously Donald Johansson um, but he wasn't there because he's in Ethiopia working 
So I was kind of disappointed because I hadn't seen him in a very long time to not see him. But that, you know, par for the course, whatever. Um, but when I was in his class, we did do a lab over at the institute and, you know, got to handle some of the casts of things. And it was really interesting, you know, to all the different hominid skull casts and things like that. So, I don't know. It, it was interesting because I think while we were in there, um, Dr. Johansson happened to be there. Oh my gosh, that's my phone. Shh. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Um, anyway, so I totally lost focus on you here. Let's get you back in focus. Um, maybe not. Crap, what did it focus on? You're totally blurry now. Viewership. <laughs> Hold on. Is it focusing? Uh, okay, wait. Uh, hold on. All right. So, anyway, yeah. While we, while I was in that one lab, Dr. Johansson actually came in, but I didn't talk about him, talk to him or anything. I just kind of was felt a little starstruck, and that was I don't know over ten years ago. I don't even remember when I took the class, but so that's that's part of the reason why I wanted to go is to just. You know, we, we know the story of Lucy, you know, we've learned about it, you know. Shoot. How do you not know I don't know. Okay, we're having camera issues. Um, apparently I ran out of space on my 16 gigabyte card. I don't know how many videos I have on here, not that many, but I haven't removed anything from it. So there's a lot of large format photographs on here. So. It's got a combination of my Nikon, which I was holding on, Nikon 1J3. Okay, anyway, um, let's get back to and anthropology. And also my Nikon um, 5100. Okay, so, anyway, yeah. the Johansson dealie. Um, yeah, so it was important that um, Darwin gets mentioned because they noticed similarities between humans and mammals, and that were mostly related to mammals, so, um, since gorillas and chimpanzees are very similar to humans, they postulate that we would probably have, or he postulated that we would probably have a common ancestor found in Africa. Um, he decided to go to the Rift Valley because a friend of his was a working there, a geologist. Yeah. And the Rift Valley is ripe with fossils. Um, they say that there's all kinds of animals animal fossils just everywhere, bones everywhere. So, um, so he goes there and um, he finds Lucy there. I'm not gonna go into the whole story because. Yeah, that's it. Like yeah. if you don't know what, please look it up. Right. Look up Wikipedia, look at Lucy, it's. But he like did find Lucy time. and he found a geologist had been looking for rocks like a year earlier. The footprints were still there. Yeah. And, and they just this walked right back. whole area could have been washed away down the side yeah. of a cliff, like if the rains came. So it was kind of lucky that he found Lucy. Um, he, I liked how he said that as a as a paleoanthropologist, like they're they know just they don't look up, they look down. Yeah. So that's he saw this little tiny bone that is basically what makes your elbow work. Um, something, something. And he knew it was and it wasn't knew. to an animal. Yeah, and so then they kept looking. And, but yeah, he he did mention the geologist just walked on by because he was looking for rocks, not yeah. for you know bones of any animal, whether it's a hominid or not. So yeah, it could have been washed away, but it wasn't. Yeah. And I loved his little story about how they named it. Not that like everyone knows that knows about Lucy knows the Lucy and the Sky with Diamonds. Yeah, but that's that, a Beatles song. But that he was like, you know, was it on the radio and someone's like, you should name it after Lucy. Yeah, Lucy yeah. And, and then Diamonds. he was like, he scoffed like, oh, at it. I don't know. But then everyone just everyone's started like, referring it to it as the Lucy side. Let's go to Lucy side. Let's go find more things so around Lucy. They're so stuck. Just, and he talked about how. That part of Ethiopia 
Like it's affected them so much that everything's named Lucy. Yeah, there's a Lucy College. There's like a Lucy, Lucy soccer team. Yeah. Soccer team. Yeah. Lucy, like a this, tournament Lucy or, yeah. yeah, it's huge. Yeah. And he and talked they to revere her because they consider her the oldest human. Yeah. And Ancestor. they're afar. Is that what they're called? I think so. Afarensis. Well, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. she was named after them. Yeah. But, but like a lot of them are Muslims over there and they, they're praying like how many times a day? Five times. Five. But okay. And he, then, he gave a story about like how one of them, he heard his own name and he heard Lucy and Allah and Allah and he wanted to know what they were praying about and someone translated. Do you remember? Deren Kesh? Is that what they called her? Deren Kesh? Something like that? Something like that. I don't know. Deren I don't remember. So he asked his translator like what are they saying and they're basically saying thank you God for bringing Johansson here to find Lucy, the oldest of our people, or something like that. You know, like that's pretty funny. Basically, but saying they that everyone would, they that would they risk were the their oldest. lives. Yeah. You know, because a lot of them are their bodyguards over there. When they're on the site, they're protecting them from. Especially back then in the 70s, know, because really. it was war torn at the time. It's okay. fairly. He was saying it's fairly stable now. It's not like other parts you oh, okay know, so those were older the pictures then? yeah so you know yeah truly fascinating presentation i really enjoyed it yeah. and i think i was starstruck too like when I, so i didn't go to asu but i went to mcc and i was majoring in anthropology there and i was taking so many different classes and a friend of mine was going to asu at the time sabrina and she was taking a class that Johansson was teaching. Oh my God, really? Yeah, and she was telling me about it and she was talking about how he said here in Arizona that there are so many archeological sites found around the valley mm -hmm. that at, at one time they used to think there was like pockets of natives here, Paleo Indians. And it turns out that there's so many of them that they can honestly say that there are millions of people that lived here before modern day people mm -hmm. lived here. That's really, really fascinating to me. So how ancient is this world, you know? Like, it's fully populated at one point. It almost seems like sometimes with all the things that they find. You know, millions of people here before the Hobo gum, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Well, what he's saying is that there are millions of people at one time. But yeah. that, that doesn't relate to Lucy in this presentation, no. but still that I thought no, that was a cool you, story. You know what you know what relates to your story? Is that mm -hmm. that I think that you should go back to school. Yeah, I should. I think you but should go I don't back. Have any time. I think that you should study linguistics at the, the College of Anthropology. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. I think that you should... No, no, but but you know, it, it's obviously you're, you've never stopped working. Yeah. You've you know, pursued information and things like that. Like for you, especially with the internet, like it's just. I just think that <laughs> it's something that you should do because you know it might open doors that you that aren't open to you right now. And I'm not if I had time to go to school, I would. I work 10-hour days, so it's well, a little difficult, but we know, should get back to this because okay, I don't fine. know how long this is going to last. Okay. But so um, what, what more, yeah, I was going to ask you, though, what more can we say about this presentation? I'm just glad that I um, went. They talked about that movie, Lucy, which is a very good movie with Scarlett Johansson, which we thought that was weird. His name is Johansson. Yeah. He yeah. discovered Lucy. They have her in this movie, and Scarlett Johansson plays a character named Lucy in this movie. And her name is spelled with one N, and I mean two Ns, and his is one, I think. Yeah. But if different. you if you misspell his name and you type Lucy with Johansson, the the crap that comes up on Google is all that movie. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So that. yeah, so if you want to follow. Dr. Johansson, his Twitter is D R D O N G 
J-O-H-A-N-S-O-N, Dr. Don Dohan- Johansson. And uh, you can, if you if you're interested, you can tweet with the hashtag Lucy40. There you go. Yeah. Which I did tonight. Karina did. Um, I'll break this. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> yes. Oh. Do I need to erase that? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Girl who matters. <laughs> Someone off the grid. <laughs> off the grid. <laughs> I'm off the grid except for I tweeted something, which I rarely ever tweet. Yeah. I rarely, rarely ever. I think the last thing I tweeted about was maybe like um, Craig Ferguson because I love him so much. But um, anyway. So anyway, as two anthropology majors, we were very excited to go see Dr. Johansson. I have a degree in anthropology, thank you. She has a degree in anthropology, that's right. Oh my gosh, thank she you. finished school and I did. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm still very fascinated in it. I was fascinated in it. But another thing that they were talking about was like in South Africa, there's another group of hominids that live there. And they were talking about um, uh, Australopithecus afarensis, they lived for, what, uh, a million years, right? 800,000 to a million years. Oh, yeah, yeah. And but then, then they were talking about how there's this other people that lived in South Africa. And I don't know if it's something that's a new discovery that they, he didn't talk about. He didn't go into it because I think it's a new discovery that they're going to. But I think that he was saying that somebody discovered something that's going to come out this spring. I think they're writing. They're writing papers, and once it gets published, obviously, then we'll all know about it. But they're not going to talk about it until it's published. Yeah. So. So there's more coming out. There, they ask questions at the end, and one of the questions that I wanted to ask was because he knew the Rift Valley was ripe in fossils. Are there other places in the world that are ripe with fossils? Um, and, or is that place unique? I didn't get to ask the question. I was very close to asking the question. But. I know, you were like, you, you hesitated to raise your Because somebody hand. in front of me. I know. But remember, like, right before that guy got called on, I had said that they were probably going to answer the question to the people that were in the front section and the because orchestra they paid, pit because yeah. they were, you know, it was free for us. For most people, but there was a small section. Okay, we're on the third camera. <laughs> they just keep dying. Well, out of memory. Out of memory, not dying. They're, they have plenty of battery life, just not enough memory. So, this is probably a little fuzzy because I know how to clean the lens, but. Yeah, your question, like, you, I think you hesitated after I'd mentioned that to you. Now I feel bad about it. Yeah, I didn't raise my hand one time. Yeah, and that was the All time. The other times I was like, yeah, and they might like, have. I didn't called. even know they could see me, even though they were pretty close to me. But yeah. I think the lights were on them. I so. I think they might have called on you had you raised your hand that time you didn't. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, because I think that it would have been easier to say, "Guy in the very back." Yeah. Against the wall. So, oh, they were asking. One kid asked, "Was there any evidence as to how Lucy died?" And they were saying something about killed by a crocodile. It is possible. They said that there was one puncture on the hip bone that was probably a crocodile tooth. So that they, there. It was wet man. Yeah, that that she may have been there gathering crocodile eggs and turtle eggs and been She's grabbed. She's an adult. Too. Yeah. That's another thing that I learned. That she wasn't a. She wasn't a child. child. Oh, yeah. and they have found children. Mm-hmm. I know that, that was like before. Like, so I don't really understand that though. Like, well, because they said that the span they last eight hundred thousand million years. Like when they say, "Oh, this one is three point eight or four million or four point two million years old." That's like quite a million difference. It's not millions, but no, it's not. It's like hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. But she, they said that that the range of Australopithecus is over a hundred thousand years. Like, and no, ours. I mean, sorry, that's what my brain was seeing was the eight, and my mouth said a hundred. 
because humans have been, what, about 100, 150, or did he say 120? Thousand years ago. Yeah. Yeah, so we have a, it's like a, a blip, except for we are the most creative and the most destructive species on the planet this time. Not us. Yeah, me and Greg are the most destructive. It's like and creative. It's kind of lame time. to get grouped into that. Like, I know. Is that how all the animals look at us? They're like, they're the most creative and the most destructive. And they probably just see us as the most destructive. <laughs> like, hmm, I love that painting. <laughs> Unless, wait, that. wait, did you see that? <coughs> <laughs> like, how I met your mother, where, um, oh my god. What's her name? She tries to sell her painting, and and she sells it, and I think they just wanted the frame, and so they throw the painting away, and then a vet finds the painting in the dumpster, and he puts it in his office, and then he puts it in one of the rooms, and then the dogs are, like, transfixed by the painting, and they really like it. <laughs> wow. It's so dumb. I just saw it last night. Yeah. Right. So, let's finish this up. <laughs> What? Anyway, if you ever get a chance, go see Donald Johansson speak. Uh, um, I, yeah. I just was, I was really excited. And I, and it, I was pleasantly surprised. I wasn't bored. I was like transfixed with the whole thing. So. I was a little distracted by not only Comic Sans phone, but the fact that I couldn't get a signal in there because they were saying, you could tweet about this. And I was like, oh, we're tweeting. This. Oh, we couldn't tweet about it because there was no <laughs> signal on there. Yeah, because I'm well, not... Well, not tweet about it. I was going to tweet a question because they asked us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we couldn't get a signal, signal because it was a giant but concrete I am, building. I am following you now. On yeah. Twitter. So... Uh, Institute of Human Origins. Yeah. So, um, it made me miss going to school. It made me miss... Like, a lot of people would get bored with electric class, and I loved lecture classes because, for the most part, when I went to ASU, I was taking up a division courses since I went to MCC, and, you know, but I, you know, I've got someone that is, in general, someone that is an expert in their field talking about something to me, and, and my fellow students, but it's, you know, I'm there, I'm paying for the privilege, and I'm absorbing everything, you know, as told, you know, colloquially, you know, too. And I miss that. I miss learning through someone that knows things and that has derived, like, a talk about it, like, tonight. And so it's it's hard to not be in school, and it's been a long time, and I just kind of want to, it makes me want to audit classes just to waste, if I had the money to waste, just go and audit them just so that I could learn and not be required to write papers and things like that and get all stressed out about it. I'll have nightmares again, but I don't want a master's degree. I'm not taking the GRE or anything like that, but... Back in the 70s, he must have been like the top of the line. And, and you know, he has his air about him right now. But he's also yeah, seems well, really yeah. approachable, like yeah, as far as conversationally, like, like I, I mean, can't imagine. Got that effect to him, like when you watch him, you're like, oh, gosh, this guy is just I can't imagine taking a course Back with in the him. 70s, everybody must have How was that for your that friend way. that was taking a course <clears throat> with the Donald Johansson? Like, that's amazing. That doesn't happen. Like, we don't have that many, like. We should not have any other, like, really, like, really well-known scholars. I mean, I'm probably speaking out of turn here. But just, you know, that we're teaching to, like, you just take a class. You just pay your normal tuition. And there you are every, you know, every week, a couple times a week maybe, you know. I don't know. In all the opportunities, I, I wasn't really into archaeology. I wasn't into archaeology, so but I knew that there was like I had I had a class with a girl, a couple classes with a girl that was in my major, and she was going to Jordan, like for like about a month, like in the summer, to work on a project. The country, the country of oh, Jordan. Like Jordan University. No, 
No, the country to do a dig. There was a dig that was going on um, with people. And I think that, yeah, I, I mean, I don't like being out in the heat and I don't like getting dirty. So that's not my thing. But man, I will say this, that my, I got a double major at ASU, history and anthropology. And the history part was what I struggled with. And it's not that I don't like it. It's just that there was a lot of things that were challenging for me personally in my learning style. But the anthropology, I completed all of those courses. I could have graduated two, th- two years earlier because I was done with everything. Because I just soaked that stuff up. It was crazy. Like, it was the social anthropology stuff. I mean, the talking about Mesoamerica and man, all of that stuff. I love it. I miss it. And even the linguistic stuff, it was kind of weird. It was kind of logical. It was kind of, I don't know, you would love it. You would love it. So, I don't know. I miss it. I miss going to school. I I, I think it would be weird to be doing a job that involved what I went to school for since I'm in a totally different industry. (laughs) I didn't go to the business school at all. And I didn't, well, you know, I mean, I, whatever. Well, all of my jobs outside of school were in finance in some way or another. Credit, things like that, banking. No, it wasn't in a direct, it was just where the jobs were. It wasn't like, now I, I know, but whatever. It's still talking about school at ASU, Arizona State University, Sun Devils. Yeah, so, um, to finish this up, if you want to be an anthropologist, a an anthropologist, go to ASU, to the Institute of Human Origins. Origins? Origins? Origins, run by Donald Johansson. And Bill Kimball. Kimball. And, oh, excuse me. If you're still interested in anthropology, but you know you're looking at more of the archaeology side, or um, the University of Arizona. I mean, come on, the Garbage Project. That's huge. That's synonymous with Arizona State University. I mean, University of Arizona. Yeah. Sorry, Wildcats for Sun Devils. Ooh, whatever. Um, yeah. So that's that's that. Um, Learn stuff. It's, Go to the Tempe Center for the Arts. It's pretty. Awesome. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Learn stuff. Keep learning. Don't don't stop. Don't stagnate. 